Hey gamers, if you're using the RPCSX V3 PS3 emulator, brace yourself. They just dropped five updates in a single day. That's right, five updates back to back, and honestly, we don't even know how many more might come today. The devs are working fast, and that means constant improvements for us. In this video, I'll walk you through what's new in the latest update, how these changes improve your experience, and a quick fix for that annoying UI update not available error. Let's jump right in. So, what's new in this update? First off, the old control panel line in the user interface has been replaced with a cleaner title. It's a small change, but it really makes the app look more polished and professional. Next, for those of you who love dark mode, good news. The issue where text color wasn't showing properly has been fixed. Now your emulator looks sleek and readable, even in low light. Another big improvement is the addition of user selection in the app UI. This means if you're sharing the emulator or managing multiple profiles, switching users is now quick and easy right from the interface. They've also cleaned up some formatting across the app and removed an unused function, things that might not be visible right away, but they definitely make the emulator run smoother in the background. There's also been an important update to the game refresh logic. It's now handled by a standalone function, which improves performance and keeps things organized under the hood. Plus, they've updated the active user settings key to use snake case instead of camel case, which is just a good coding practice for consistency and readability. Now let's address a common issue that some of you might be running into the UI update available error that just refuses to go away. Here's a quick and simple fix. Go into your emulator's settings, then open download channels. From there, look for the option that says RPCSX UI Android Update Channel and change it to Development. Once you do that, go back and try updating the UI again. It should work like a charm. Switching to the Development Channel gives you access to the most recent fixes and features, which can be super helpful if the standard update isn't working as expected. So, that's everything new in the latest update. If you haven't already, now's a great time to update your RPCSX emulator. These small but meaningful improvements really enhance stability, performance, and ease of use. Just a quick tip, before updating, make sure to back up your settings, just in case anything goes wrong. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on emulator updates and gaming tips. And if you've got questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming.